Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lady Sarah. Thank you so much for giving me the honor of being here today while I show you what I ended up getting from Bath and Body Works. I'm on my way to Lady Danbury's hosting the ball this evening. I cannot wait to see my friends the Bridgertons and Penelope Featherington. I hope she likes my dress. I just had this made at the Modiste and it was delivered just in time today for the ball. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and show you really quickly my new dress. I'm so excited and it actually has buttons on the back and we have the little um, tie here, the little satin ribbon, but I love the color yellow and Pen always wears, often wears yellow, so I thought today I could match my friend uh, for one of the balls. So anyways, thank you so much for being here, friends. I'm so excited again to show you what I got. So let's talk about the Easter sale. So that Easter flash sale was amazing at 40% off. So I basically had gotten most of the Bridgerton items before the flash sale on Easter, but you know, I got a lot of it at 25% off. So I got the uh, vanity here behind me for 25% off, which brought it down to like, I think $27, something around that number. And then, I mean, I've got all of these items here, the diamond of the season pocket back holder. I will say before I get started, I, I real. I have been binge watching <laughs> Bridgerton again because again, I'm anticipating season three coming out in May. So we are, um, we're in April, but you know, May will be just around the corner and I am seeing things, seeing it for the second time that I didn't see the first time. And I want to say this, so you know, lady, um, sorry, I don't want to give it away if you haven't seen the show. Um, Lady Whistledown. Okay, so Lady Whistledown. She is um, a big part of the show. Okay, so she's she's anyway. Her gossip pamphlets that she has has a face on it, like a cameo on it. I was watching the show yesterday, and I was like, wait a minute, because they show a lot of times they're reading the uh, gossip uh, pamphlets or papers or whatever you want to call them. And they're sitting there reading it, and the all these people are reading the latest one. And I see this same uh, profile, this same you know cameo, and I was like, wait a minute, that's Lady Whistledown's cameo that's on her gossip column. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this whole time I thought when I saw this tea, and it's like teapot, get it like the gossip, like the tea, like I just you know, and well, and also because they drink a lot of tea in the show and that type of thing. So it could be looked at both ways, like spilling the tea, like gossip or tea, because that's a lot of the social drinking. They do tea, not tea parties. No, but they do like, you know, they do like tea, um, at the dinner, they drink tea or social gatherings, tea. And so, but I didn't realize that till I saw the show again, that this is actually the same exact picture that is on Lady Featherington's gossip columns. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to share that little Easter egg. Um, I'm so excited that I finally put two and two together. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like so happy because I love seeing whenever they show like those paper columns, like I'm always trying to read it. Like when they, when the, when the camera goes onto the, you know, the columns that they're reading, I'm always like, oh, I want to see what it says. You know what I mean? Cause they have the narrate the, the column, but anyways, okay. So there's the first thing I want to talk about. And it is rest uh, the stores I shop at. I was at marketplace the other day marketplace 99 and they had more of these and again they're still online i think i saw last that this is like limited supply or something online i'm not sure if i if i'm like imagining that i saw that but i feel like i saw that it was like limited stock i think it said limited stock on this but they could restock it i think um yeah so i wanted to mention that okay so let me go ahead and get into the rest of my haul. Uh, now, let me show you what I ordered online. Now, I did get the chandelier. Okay, let's start with that one. Let's start this this video off with a um, with a highlight, okay? Because this is what I've been wanting to get. I love chandeliers. I actually, I had to peek in my box, friends, because here's my box right here. I had to peek in my box because... I wanted to make sure my chandelier wasn't broken <laughs> when I got it. I was like, oh, please don't be broken. And I, to my surprise, it was in here, like boxed up, just like a candle holder would be and that type of thing. So I was like, whoa, it was like really packed with a lot of love. Not only that, but wait till you see it's packaged with, <laughs> like, I literally, this is like, it's so fancy wrapped. Like, okay, so it's in this bubble wrap and I have not taken it out of the bubble wrap yet. So I wanna do that with you guys. 
but I peeked in there. I was like, okay, it looks like it's all, it looks like it's all together. Now, some people are saying on social media that this reminds them of Beauty and the Beast, which I can totally see that, or also Phantom of the Opera. So, um, the Phantom of the Opera is here, but um, I, to me, I'm looking at it like, I can see it that way as well, but I love it as like my Bridgerton chandelier. So, but I also love Beauty and the Beast and uh, Phantom of the Opera is, Opera is a great so musical. But anyway, let me show you. Oh, please. I don't want to break this opening. This out of, look at this. This is like really plastic wrapped. Okay. Like this is, wow. Like I, this might take me a moment to get through here through all this extra wrapping. They were like making sure this was not going to fall apart. And I'm going to light it up in this video. I'm so excited. I'm going to light it up. And then I'll probably add a little side video next to me of it plugged into my outlet in my house so you can see what it looks like in the actual dark because I have a lot of lights on me right now. But here we go. Yes, it's not broken. It's in perfect condition. It is $32.95 and I will go over what I paid for at the end with my, I'll go on my app and let you know because it's an online order. They no longer send the like invoices anymore um, in the boxes. So basically, you know, it's online if you want to look at the receipt in your app. But there we go, you guys, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I finally got my hands on one. So anyways, Bath and Body Works with Bridgerton and I love that the packaging, you see how they even, it's all wrapped in like this really nice cardstock kind of wrapping here. So a lot of like attention to detail and I love all of the like little drops of like jewels coming off of this chandelier. It's so beautiful. Let me plug it in. Let me just do one more view of it. It has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, candle lights on it. So we have the eight lights. And they have even the little like swoop de doop like you know how like lights when they the candle go it has that like little curvature so a lot of little detail going on here now i know we had one at uh, not christmas time hey that would be really pretty having a christmas chandelier i'd be so okay with that like i would love to get a christmas chandelier wallflower plug um but you know at halloween there was one and for some reason i can't remember it like i don't know why i'm not remembering the halloween chandelier one i don't know where i was i was here i so know why i can't remember that one i you would think i would remember that one because i love chandeliers oh so much so anyways one more look and let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it looks like so i have my plug right here my little outlet i'm gonna go ahead and uh let's see i'm gonna go ahead and take off the little like um little tag here on there so we can see what it looks like because in store, it, ha it projects, I mean, it really is uh, bright in store. So I'm excited to see it actually in my house with like, because, you know, so many lights on these wallflower plugs in store. So here we go, you guys. Let's see what we see here. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting. It's so pretty. This looks like a dollhouse chandelier, too. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Let me see how it looks on camera. But okay, so um, let me see here. There's a let me go in closer. Here we go. So there might be like a little bit of a, let me put it behind the box. It might show better behind the box, like the detail. But there it is. Isn't that so pretty? I'm so excited. Like I said, I will include a side-by-side -side picture somewhere of this lit up in like my hallway in the dark so you can see how bright it really is. But it is, it is just so like beautiful and stunning and so again like of the era like from Bridgerton I mean this is like it's like a flashlight almost I mean it's so bright it's like a selfie light or something <laughs> look at that it's like really really bright okay so I'm gonna unplug it one more time so you can see how it'll illuminate look at the difference see that off on off you know it'd be so nice if these wallflower plugs had on off switches too right wouldn't that be kind of nice like so that like if you want to have it off during the day or you know because this could be like a night light if you want it to be because it's going to stay on all day long all night long uh this is not a scent control i wish it was for the price tag of 32.95 but i still think it's fabulous i love it so much and so so gorgeous
this? Okay, so I would love to have one on literally every outlet at my house, but that's not gonna happen because they're, they're like $32.95, but I would love that because it is, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is a, really a gorgeous piece. I can't stop talking about it. Obviously, I love it. So, okay, so anyways, there it is. I'm so excited. So welcome home to my cute little chandelier wallflower plug. So excited to add this to my wallflower collection. I have so many wallflower plugs, but have to say, I think this is my very, very favorite one of like all history of the wallflower plugs at Bath and Body Works. Okay, so let's go on to the next, um, the next thing I got, I ordered. Okay, so here we go. Um, I ended up getting more hand soap. So these were flash sale at $2.95. So I got another Danbury shortbread. Okay, so I've already gone through two Danbury shortbread hand soaps. So I got one more as a backup. I really love this scent. Again, uh, I had Danbury shortbread somewhere behind me, right here. I don't know if it's showing in this video, but it's behind me, Danbury shortbread. I almost burned through that whole candle, you guys. I love it so much. So, um, I have to say again, this is, I keep saying it, but I just want to say again, if, you, if you're thinking about getting the hand soap, it does not exactly smell like the candle or the wallflower plug, but it's very close. So that's why I got another one. I really enjoy it, but yeah, it's not identical to the candle. That candle, I have almost, it's like this much left of that candle. I really have enjoyed that candle. So yeah. Anyways, one more look at that for $2.95. So pretty. I would love if Bath and Body Works gave us a body wash in this, uh, body cream, the whole nine yards in this. I would totally buy it all. So yeah, there we have that. Okay, so the next thing I picked up or ordered, I should say, I should say ordered. Um, I, let's switch gears for just a moment, then we're gonna go back to Bridgerton because let's talk soap. So I ended up getting an online, ex I think this is an online exclusive, maybe not this one. Pink Kiwi Berry, you know, I think it, I think it is. So anyways, whenever we have like a soap sale, I always try to get the online exclusive ones. Sweet ki Kiwi, Candied Citrus, and Sunny Orchids. Now again, I'm not sure if this is in store. I should know that by heart, but I don't. Uh, but let me go ahead and review it real quick and let's see what we think of this. It's such a cute packaging with all the little florals. These are like um, cabbage roses on the front. So beautiful. So like Victorian again. So like, you know, um, romantic. I love the look of roses. So pretty. It's perfect for like Mother's Day with all the beautiful like bouquet on there. Oh, this, oh, this is interesting. It's like tart. This is very interesting. Ooh, I like it a lot. It's like sugary tart berry. Yes. Okay, so two thumbs up on this one. You you guys, you should order this one if, if it's not in store. <laughs> I can't remember if it's in store. Why am I doing that? Okay. Anyways, this is really, really good. Okay, so pink kiwi berry. This would be a great body care item. Okay, this one would be really, really a good one as well. Okay, that's another one. I got $2.95. Then I also got... um. Oh, this one's in store, I know for, uh, yeah, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. So I love this scent, gla glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy cake. This is $8.95. So this packaging, I'm wondering why it's $8.95. This one's also, this one's $7.95. I don't know why this isn't faceted, you know, this isn't, you know, super like, um, fancy you know usually when they're fancier packaging like faceted it's going to be a dollar more but i don't know why this one is 8.95 anyways uh let's go ahead and, and see what it smells like on you know let's see because it's been a while since i've smelled the hand soap in this oh my gosh so good oh yeah this is definitely like a fluffy um lemon pound cake it's so good so you can definitely like smell that like pound cake it's like the first thing i smell so, so good. Okay, so there is that one. Now we're gonna go back to Bridgerton because I also got, I'm so excited. So look at me go, you guys. I'm like, I, I seriously like, okay, I'm like Bridger, Bridgerton's like biggest fan. No, I, I know a lot of you are as well. Like we are all like Bridgerton, well, a lot of you are Bridgerton fans. And um, so I already got the hand sanitizers like totally already got those but I was like let me get them at 40% off with the bundle pack and I love that they've come like this because like they're not going to leak anywhere you know so the only yeah I already have diamond of the season too so yeah this is I got one of each of the scents in it and this was like three dollars and some change I think for the whole bag here of um beautiful scents so yeah so like let me show you I'm going to just take them out really quick we got the Danbury shortbread Danbury shortbread 
Uh, there was Wisteria Gardens. By the way, I'm burning that one downstairs right now. Uh, I'm just going to let you know because I'm probably not going to get a chance to, to review Danbury Shortbread, the candle, because I have other can I'm going to review the other candles as well. I'm going to try to. Like, I just started burning Bridgerton Study. I don't know. I hope it's showing in this video, my candle. Yeah. So, Danbury Shortbread is so good, friends. Like I said, I've got this much left of it. I could, I have a two story house. I could smell that candle when it was burning downstairs on my fireplace mantle. Um, downstairs I could smell all the way up in this room I'm in right now with the door shut that is how strong that candle is that candle when those candles are that strong they I call them candles with legs and they walk like seriously that scent goes the distance so that's right up there with Paris Cafe I was like oh my gosh like this is really really good if I could smell it in a two-story house with in another room completely away from it with the door shut oh it is definitely a good one okay so yeah that's my review of Danbury Shortbread. Okay, I got the Diamond of the Season hand sanitizer. I also got Miss, um, why am I blinking? Sorrow, Sorrow's Prayer. <laughs> oh my gosh, Queen Charlotte's Tea. Oh my gosh, yes. So um, I, if you've seen Queen Charlotte, so thank you, Danny, for reminding me. I saw Queen Charlotte. That's part of the Netflix series of Bridgerton. It's like a, it's like a, it, there's the Bridgerton series and then there's Queen Charlotte which, which explains how she became queen and like the whole her love story um, with the king and all that it's very very good it's very good so anyways um, she always says <laughs> sorrow sorrow's prayer so Danny thanks for reminding me of that I totally remember that and that was a thing going around a while I think on like social media like TikTok people would be like sorrow sorrow's prayer so yeah I'm gonna have to start doing that because I think that was so good that line was so good anyways um, but we have the Bridgerton study one more hand sanitizer I got so that makes um, five in total. And then I have more over here. Like I am like, they're coming out of my ears, hand sanitizers, but I don't mind. Like I got them in here. I love these scents. Like I'm just saying, like I just love these scents. Okay. Now I also got, finally, I have been looking for this high and low, the B. Uh, oh, wait, it didn't come. Where's the little ticket on it? Interesting. It doesn't have the little, did it come off in shipment? Oh, I have other things in here too. I forgot. Like this, this box is like Pandora's box. It keeps going. Okay. There's like a lot of stuff in here. Um, oh, there it is. That's so interesting. It like fell off in like, there it is like the tag. And then the, um, that is so weird that it did that. Like, how would it do that? You know, like come apart. I guess it probably just came apart. Anyway, um, we have the B again. The B is a huge part of the show. I know I keep saying that, um, but this is so pretty. This is pretty like substantial piece. And I love that it's got the gold like bling part of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add the Lady Danbury to it um, to show you uh, what it looks like um, in here. So I'm actually going to turn it this way. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's, I think it slides in. I can't remember. Does it slide in or does it, does it like go like, eh, I don't want to break it. Oh, gosh. How am I going to do this? Ooh, that is a tight, that is a tight fit in there. Okay, so there it is. I'm holding a hand sanitizer, Lady Danbury. So it almost looks like it's like floating in the air, huh? Because the, the transparency of the case looks like just there's like a bee on the hand sanitizer. So very, very nice. And by the way, that I don't know if I said the price, but it was like really inexpensive with the 40% off. So $7.95 and then 40% off. Next up, I did get another Bridgerton study. These were also a flash sale on Easter, so these I think were $2.95. I'll go over the price in just a moment and let you know. But I did get another Bridgerton study, and I also got one more, yes. Was this the online exclusive? No, I can't remember either. Firefly Forest. I think this one, I try, like I said, to get the online exclusives when I do uh, orders online. Fresh Forest Trail, Spring Jasmine, and Warm Spring Nights. This one is $7.95. So why is this $7.95 and this one's $8.95? I don't get it. I, don't get it. I feel like this package, packaging is even more prettier. So um, let me see what's going on here with this set. I haven't even smelled this one. Um, I, I was waiting to do this with uh, my review here. Oh, it's interesting. It's very like, uh, it's not my favorite, okay? It's a cute name. It's, 
it's like, I don't know, it's jasmine. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's not my favorite. I wouldn't buy this again. Um, it's, uh, it's like almost, gosh, I don't know how to explain the scent. A fresh forest trail and jasmine and warm spring nights. Mm, I would definitely jasmine and there's like something else I'm not, I'm not picking. It's not all just jasmine. I know it says warm spring nights. I don't know what that, but yeah, I don't think I love this. Don't think I love this. It's like greenery with jasmine. Okay, so it's like a bouquet. Um, it's not my favorite. <laughs> so I, I would, I'm not gonna order another one of these. So I'll use it, but I'm not gonna order. That's too bad. I thought it would be more like, I don't know, because the name just sounds so gorgeous, like Firefly, Firefly Forest, and the packaging was so intriguing. But I just, I don't think, I think this is a one only for me. Um, but yes, so that is my haul. I know it seems like a little haul, but it came up to like 40 something dollars. I did pay shipping because I actually had a coupon which made it better to use my coupon than, and then pay for shipping. So that's how I did that. So I basically have everything in the Bridgerton collection except for the three wig crown candle holder. I have all the body care now. I have the, you know, vanity behind me. I have all the candles. So basically I'm so excited now. I just need to get that three wig candle holder. So there we have the Bridgerton there. So let me go over costs with you to let you know how much it all um, came out to. That's always fun. I always like to let you guys know what all the deals I got here. So let's see, let's go over to my do to do, do account here get my receipt going all right so we i still have nine rewards i need to definitely use those rewards uh but we've just been having so many good sales lately that i just have it um i've been waiting because uh, i want to use it on like new wallflower plugs and um i want to use it on like so i want to use my rewards on like new wallflower plugs or you know um the cute little like uh, crossbody bags or something like that that doesn't normally go on sale let's see so we've got my most recent order which would be so it was forty three dollars and fifty seven cents and the chandelier oh my gosh this came out so cheap okay so this was fourteen eighty three for this one and each of the hand soaps were two dollars and twenty one cents for these and I mean that's amazing and then the pocket backs, the five pack were three dollars and sixty cents. That's even less than the one dollar pocket back hand sale or pocket back sales we have. And then the Bridgerton study, this was two dollars and twenty one cents. And the B, it's called the quote B B. That is so funny. Three dollars and fifty eight cents. Where'd you go, B? Where did you? I lost my B. Where did my B go? I don't know where it went. Where did it go? Where did my bee go? I literally, it's gone. Like, I don't know where it just went. It flew off somewhere. Where did, I don't, okay, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so right here, $3.58. And then, yeah, like I said, the soaps were two twenty one. Okay, so yeah, all in all, it came to $43. And uh, did I say 57 cents? Yeah, $43.57. And yes, I did pay, pay the shipping because, again, the coupon took off more. I saved more using the coupon and then just paying shipping. So, and then now that I think about it, I'm like, should I have done it at like $50 and then got the free shipping and then saved the coupon? I, I was like, I don't know. Maybe I should have waited and held on to the coupon. And I don't know. Anyways, because 40% off was really good in itself. And then, you know, you, I have to like do the math. Like I was, I don't know if my math was mathing. I think I did a good job using the coupon. Anyways, I don't know. But that is my Bridgerton haul. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. And my returning family, a huge, very huge thank you so much for being here with me. And I will see you all very soon after I get back from my next ball at Lady Danbury's home. And uh, yeah, so till next time, friends, take care. God bless. And I will see you very soon. Talk to you soon, friends. Bye. See you soon. Bye.